Hello, my name is Tony and today I will be presenting Sigma Fusion, probabilistic volumetric fusion for dense monocular slum. The main motivation of our work is to generate a 3D reconstruction of the scene from a casually taken monocular video. To do so, we combine dense monocular slum with volumetric reconstruction to build a 3D mesh of the scene. Unfortunately, since dense monocular slime estimates one depth measurement for each pixel in the frame, even for textureless regions, the resulting 3D reconstruction is noisy and without layers. To fix this, we propose to leverage the mathematical formulation of dense monocular slime to improve the 3D reconstruction and reduce noise and outliers. Our idea is to calculate not only dense depth maps per frame, but also their uncertainty, given by their marginal covariance. By weighting the depths by their estimated uncertainty, we achieve much better 3D reconstructions. As we can see, much of the noise has disappeared and there are a lot less outliers. In fact, we achieve a 10x boost in accuracy with our approach. Hence, our contribution is to show that depth uncertainty is an excellent signal to volumetrically fuse the depth maps from dense monocular sun. We show that in fact, using the depth's marginal covariance is probabilistically sound and we also present a way to compute these depth uncertainties in real time. Dense indirect slam first starts by computing dense optical flows between pairs of frames. We then minimize the reprojection loss with respect to both cameras and depth. To do so, we linearize the reprojection loss with respect to camera poses and depths, resulting in the familiar linear least squares problem, which we solve by taking the short complement followed by Cholesky factorization. Reusing these calculations, we show in the paper how to compute the pose and depth's marginal covariances. Here we show on the left one of the depth maps for a frame shown in the middle, with the resulting depth uncertainty on the right. Notice that the depth uncertainty is not only high for textureless regions, but also for alias geometry, which is particularly difficult to triangulate using optical flow techniques, since these struggle to get the correct correspondences. Finally, we volumetrically fuse these depths using the estimated depth uncertainty as weights. The resulting reconstruction is much more accurate compared to the state-of-the-art dense monocular slam pipeline. In particular, we compare against tandem, chimera, and droid slam, as well as our baseline which back projects the depth maps estimated by droid slam. Comparing this more in detail, we see that Chimera builds rough 3D reconstructions while Tandem achieves more crisp results. Our baseline, which volumetrically fuses the depths from Droid Slam, results in inaccurate 3D reconstructions, while ours achieves the best results in terms of accuracy. To better see the difference between Tandem and ours, we color code the mesh according to the error. As you can see, Tandem intends to inflate the geometry, leading to worst estimates. Finally, we can observe some interesting emerging properties. With our approach, we can mesh only the surfaces below a given maximum level of uncertainty. By decreasing this maximum allowed uncertainty, we can notice that the first geometry to disappear corresponds to outliers and noise, as seen in the top row, followed by textureless regions and alias geometry, as seen in the bottom row. In future work, we could use this uncertainty information to make robots explore a scene with the goal of minimizing the overall uncertainty of the scene. Thank you very much.